Coming up, G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 106, Dreadnought Buzzer. Stick around. What's up, and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Finally, today's video, we will be unboxing and reviewing the G.I. Joe Classified Series number 106, Dreadnought Buzzer. Man, delay, delay, delay. But hey, we got them before it has a repulse release date, which is good. Uh, they're popping up, it seems, all over at Targets, you know, throughout the Midwest. Um, maybe they'll hit the East Coast soon. I'm not sure. I don't really care anymore because I got it. It's in my hands. It's right here. Well, now it's in my hands, but it's right here. So, let's go ahead and go over them. So, looking at the box art, Dreadnought Group, G.I. Joe, Cobra, blah, blah, blah. Artist render. And there is your box art right here. Looking at the background, you got a drum set. Some purple cans of soda, pop, whatever. You see a motorcycle out here, some gas pumps. Cold slither, a uh, little poster sticking in the window. A shot of the accessories. G.I. Joe at the top. UPC at the bottom. Move to the side. Here is your QR code. Round to the back. Figure stands at 6.2 inches. You got a close-up of his belt buckle right here, which is a skull and crossbones. A tattoo of one his left bicep. It's like a snake with a sword through it. There's a close-up of the stats for you. Flip around to the side. Larger shot of the artist render. Number 106. We will go ahead and pop him open. But first, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for future content. All right, let's break out Trusty Dusty. Pop him open. He was uh, one of my anticipated figures for this wave as well. I think the whole wave was actually, to be honest. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna short anybody out. Now we just need Torch, Monkey Wrench. I guess we'll do Zanzibar and Road Pig, Xandar, Heart Wrencher, you know, get all the goodies out. Nogahide, I saw there was some uh, some leaked photos possibly from um, Hasbro over in Asia. Uh, yeah, I mean, I believe it, considering, you know, a couple years ago we saw the Alley Viper heads pop up that they were supposedly found in a dumpster, but we'll see. So, accessory box, 106. Dreadnought Buzzer, 106, Cobra. Let's go ahead and um, go over the accessories first. I want to see if the figure's for last and then go over all the goodies in it. Get that box out to the side. What would it be without some crap? All right. Accessory bag. Pull that open. And dump out the goods right there. So let's go over all this stuff right here. We'll start with this. All right, so we got this right here, which is sort of like a, kind of like a whip style morning star-ish type of thing. You got your handle right here with the chain leading up to a double-sided blade, almost like something you would see in uh, like the Raven or something. Nevermore. Well, um, that's pretty neat. Just swing it, you know, probably do some nice damage. Here you have this definitely looking like a dreadnought weapon, this customized baseball bat. Uh, looks like it's all black. It has a couple of blades, you know, saw blades up at the top, probably cut in half. Looks like they were welded on to make a little custom, you know, swing and slashing piece right here. Definitely would do some damage. You have this uh, little point at the top coming down and uh, silver wrapping around the hands, maybe or around the uh, base of the bat right here. Could be tape, could be. I don't know, rolled sheet metal or foil, I don't know, who knows, but that's pretty neat. All right, moving on, we got a knife, your typical classified knife, silver blade, black handle, nothing special. Pistol, so we're getting one of these again, um, you see all black, 
Got some wrapping, like some gray wrapping, off gray, whatever it is, around the, uh, the handle. To the front, you have a hole in the front for a blast effect. There's that. And now you have his glasses. So I like the uh, I like the route they took with these glasses because these are not based on the cartoon, but actually on the original comic. Sort of like those uh, steampunk style circular, you know, glasses with the uh, with the side protectors, whatever they're called, the sun blockers that come down. So that's pretty cool. I like that touch. That's, that's neat. So happy for them. Looks like they're like a silver with the black lenses, and that's about it. And then, last but not least, we have his traditional. So cool. Um, doesn't really look like the original ones that he had. You know, you have versions that were red, all silver, that kind of had like a, uh, a shotgun, you know, pistol grip sort of style to it, with a small stock. This is an actual chainsaw. So I'm cool with that. Um, I don't know who would customize something otherwise, but this looks good. You know, you have the all black uh, major uh, motor engine piece right here. Um, I see a hole or something right there. It looks like that was lopped off or it's broken or something, but there's a hole in there to where it looks like a tube could go in, but I don't see anything else. You have your handle right here, which looks like it'll move, but it doesn't seem to be moving for me. And you're coming down and you have your blade with the chain and that is silver and then you have a gray for the actual chain itself so that's cool I'll take a peek over here and it doesn't show anything for that chainsaw but uh, I don't know, hopefully it's nothing so now let's go ahead and uh, go over buzzer so He's in his cardboard dungeon, so let's go ahead and release him. But first, we gotta cut off these little tabs here. Alright, so Buzzer is out. Show you off his cardboard dungeon and the black and white artist render. Get that out of here. And here he is. He looks good. He looks real good. I like him uh, better than Ripper. He looks pretty, pretty awesome. He's got some height to him. You see, he's a little, little jacked up in some areas, but I'll mess with it, get him fixed. Got a toy with him for a bit. Go over his stuff here. Looks just like the OG. You know, he's got that black cod piece going over right here. He's got some uh, drop leg thigh guards. Yeah. yeah. One sheath for a knife and one holster for a pistol. A shot of that tattoo. Oh, he's got some dog tags hanging right here. Looks like he's got a uh, little, like a marshal pin or a sheriff badge. Hmm, reminds me of the Renegades one. Uh, coming down, there's his chrome cro uh, skull and crossbones belt buckle. You have some nice uh, metal studs going around on the belt. Black knee pads, brown boots. You see nothing on this side. It's got a couple bracelets. Looks like a watch or a compass on this side. Flip around to the back. Look at his ponytail. Overall, he looks he looks amazing. He looks really good. Let's uh, check out his articulation. Head is on ball joint. Just move that ponytail out the way. You can get it around a little bit. He's got a rotating neck. Head goes down that far and up that far. Can't tell if there's a hinge on that ball joint or not. Anyway, it's got butterfly joints at the shoulders that are nice, especially with the shirt piece coming off attached to the shoulders themselves. You see, arms will come out that far. They can do a full 360 rotating bicep, double jointed pinless elbows and these arms look great they have some definition some muscle feature and even some uh looks like some dirt on the forearms if that's not supposed to be hair but i think it's just dirt and now to the wrist the, you see that hinged peg is on a swivel 
and let me see if we can move down about that far and up about that far not so not much in there at all uh let me see the green like single strap running around from his belt over his shoulder is actually attached to the shirt so it has two grenades on here two different types one looks like a smoke grenade and just your normal or regular average grenade uh half crunch that far forward that far back it's got a waist swivel goes down drop legs which come down pretty decent got rotating thigh he has double jointed pinned knees why just make some noise get him pinless Moving down to the calf, right at the base of the calf where the pant meets the boot, you have castle. Moving down to the ankle, hinge peg, foot goes forward this far, almost straight, which is pretty nice, and goes up that far, put back with the side to side rotation. With the side to side pivot. Okay, getting stood up, drop test, nice. All right, let's gear him up. So first, we'll move over to his right leg, get this spun a bit, and I wanna get this, uh, this little thigh pad kind of leveled out because it looks like it's a little twisted up. And get it right there, kind of on that seam on his pants, that's where I want it, that looks good. Go ahead and take the knife and slide that in the sheath. All right, show. Move over here, take that pistol and place that in his holster right there. Oh, I didn't mention that. Uh, no backpack again. He needs something to store this stuff. There's nowhere to hang it at all. So it's basically just, you know, randomized stuff laying around. Um, I'm not going to use the stuff for my my uh, my display, but I will go ahead and pose him up real fast so you can get an idea of the stuff. I'll have to do that with this hand. I'll bring this over and put this crazy bat in this hand. So you got Buzz or something like this, kind of, you know, going a little ape shit crazy and ready to go straight into battle. But it looks cool. I'm just not going to do this. I want his chainsaw because that's the way you got to go when you have your buzzer figure. So let's get this stuff back out of his hands and we'll bring up the chainsaw. So first, let's get his grip on it how well he wants to hold it which doesn't really look that good Ugh. yeah it's not good at all i'm actually going to switch hands he does not have a very nice grip on this chainsaw so that looks good the way he's holding it like that but i don't I'm not digging this. I don't know if that's broke or what. I haven't seen any other reviews or any actual pictures that show that piece. So it's got me a little concerned. But I'm going to uh, hope for the best and pray that it's nothing. Try to get this arm cracked up a little higher. And let's see how we do this. Slide that chainsaw in right here. get him kind of posed something like this i'm afraid he's going to be a little top heavy so i'll try to get him stance a little better but oh, I forget. 
So I have some of these stands. I'm actually going to use them for him because he doesn't seem like he has the greatest balance. The, uh, the chainsaw is giving him a little weight, and the way he's uh, he's standing, that kind of like an ankle. I'm not feeling it. So I'm going to go ahead and plug two of these stands in his feet, so that way he's got proper, you know, stable balance, and he doesn't kind of tip over when I put him on display. So there's one. Let me get in the second one. These stands are actually uh, really helpful. They come in handy. Um, I mentioned them before in another video. You can grab them on eBay. They're like, I think $35 for a hundred of them, something like that. And just search uh, Figure Lab stands and you'll see all the different options, different colors, different sizes, all kinds of good stuff. So you can take your pick on what you want. Good stuff. Posed up a little more. Alright, that seems to work. Get that stuff aside. And we'll go ahead and throw his glasses on him. Alright, they don't look the best on him. You know, but I guess they'll do. They don't seem like they want to fit that well. I wish they were a bit thinner or there was like a snap that they could go in to make it look like it's a little better. But that kind of looks corny. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and throw him on the turntable, and um, we'll give you some final thoughts. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Be sure to check out our previous videos. A link will always be pinned in the comments. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Alright, so here is the G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 106, Dreadnought Buzzer cool figure he is amazing um i i think the, the the new accessories these new additions we haven't seen them before so they're entirely new that's pretty cool um i'm glad they came with that i like how they brought and gave you a traditional chainsaw and not some mock-up crazy you know futuristic unreal alternate dimension type of thing this one works it fits um he holds it a little goofy i'm not feeling it totally but Overall, it, it's it's nice. Uh, the only complaint I think I have about this figure is them glasses. They don't fit right. Um, they just they don't look natural. The, maybe the ears should come out just a little more or something, or they should definitely have some kind of uh, maybe hidden peg, like how they did with the first Baroness, you know, with them little holes up in the side of the head so that way you can slide them in. That might work a little bit better because this looks terrible. Um, apart from that, I have no complaints. Uh, I'm going to bring out Ripper real quick. Kind of stand them back to back so you get an idea. Ripper is in a more slouched pose, but you can show the two dreadnoughts back to back like they're about to uh, take on, you know, some Joes or something like that. You're like, back to back, you know, let's go at it. But yeah, it's cool stuff, man. Get him back out of here. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have him. Uh, He was kind of a pain, you know, delay after delay. He was pre-ordered and then he was pre-ordered with a second, with a second party. Um, that actually ended up getting canceled. I do still have my Hasbro Pulse order going through, and I may get them, you know, just to possibly use this for trade bait later, but I don't know. Um, we'll see. Some people may need them, some people may not. I don't know. I do that now and then, but eh, it is what it is if I don't. Anyways, um, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please, like always, leave that giant thumbs up, subscribe, tickle that bell so you're notified when we post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.